Prince William's growing confidence was illustrated last weekend with his intervention at the end of the Caribbean tour, which was beset by public relations errors and protests about British colonialism. Prince William is reportedly planning to reinvent the role of the Prince of Wales a Euro and his wife, the Duchess of Cambridge, will play a key role in the future. Palace aides are said to be describing the strategy as the Cambridge way, with Kate expected to undertake more solo overseas tours and William to focus on a handful of charities. Kate Middleton and Prince William are changing the way the public views the monarchy, the couple want to engage and listen to people. It comes after the couple's Caribbean tour was marred by protests and criticism amid reports of tension with Clarence House after the trip clashed with Prince Charles' visit to Ireland. People close to the prince reveal that the royal mantra, never complain, never explain, is not how he operates. Perhaps that is why he directly addressed the Caribbean people's concerns before leaving. Prince William is set to inherit his dad's Prince of Wales title when Charles becomes king and he is already looking ahead to how he will carry out his new duties. He is said to be considering cutting the number of charities the Prince of Wales usually retains, with a focus on mental health, the environment and children's early years. Harnessing his media training to make more TV appearances so that he is seen as credible and comfortable by the public. The new strategy will reportedly harness the Duchess of Cambridge's popularity, with Kate increasingly sent on overseas tours alone. William also intends to ex the half the estimated 140 members of staff working for the Prince of Wales when he takes over the role. The Duke of Cambridge reportedly also favors more informal meet and greets over royal stage managed events and has no plans to take over the Prince's Trust, which was founded by his dad in 1976. Earlier in the week it was reported that Prince William and Kate Middleton have appointed former BEFT boss Amanda Berry as the new chief executive for their charitable royal foundation and will be commencing her role in June. Amanda will lead the royal foundation as it continues to deliver an ambitious new strategy, mobilizing leaders, businesses, and people to address society's greatest challenges together. It's a particularly exciting time to join the foundation as current and upcoming projects Amanda will be working on include the evolution of the Earthshot Prize, the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood, and United for Wildlife. While William's team consider the creation of the blueprint for the Cambridge's future to be both sensible and necessary, some allies of Charles fear it could tarnish his achievements as Prince of Wales. A source close to William told the Mail on Sunday, this approach isn't a criticism of what has come before but just an acknowledgement of a desire for change. It's about hope and optimism for the future. What is driving the Duke and Duchess and everything they do is urgency plus optimism equals action. It comes after the royal family attended a Thanksgiving service for Prince Philip which saw the shame Duke of York return to the spotlight as he escorted the Queen from Windsor and to her seat in the church. The move has reportedly led some in the royal family to accuse the disgraced prince of trying to worm his way back into the limelight following his sex scandal. However, Prince Charles and William are planning to keep shamed Prince Andrew out of any upcoming royal events, a leading expert has claimed. The Duke of York signed off the reflective social media post on his ex-wife's account with HRH the title he was stripped of three months ago by his mother, the Queen. Sarah. Duchess of York marked the 40th anniversary of the start of the Falklands War on Saturday, and to do so she shared some words from her ex-husband Prince Andrew. However, the posts on Sarah Ferguson's Instagram were swiftly deleted. Prince Andrew has kept a low profile since paying a reported a pound 12 million settlement to accuser Virginia Jufre to avoid going to trial a euro despite previously vowing to fight the allegations in court. Recent days have seen the Duke of York and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson named in a high court case involving a Turkish millionaire and a businessman based in London. Nebuchadnezzar Billen, 77, claimed Salman Turk tricked her into giving Prince Andrew pound 750,000 by way of payment for assistance with getting a passport. The royal repaid the sum after she claimed to have been scammed, according to documents. Thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We will update the latest videos about the royal family every day. Thanks and goodbye.